Gilly Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling focused because today our quote of the day is Say no to distraction so you can say yes to your destiny by Thema Davis. You need focus to achieve your goals and in today's world this is so difficult to achieve. The phone is constantly ringing, not all, always from people you know or want in your life. There is a constant ringing noise from notifications and from our phones and our computers and there are family responsibilities and the body sends signals of hunger and uh, tiredness so that you need to stop and eat or, or rest. And there are constantly things that you need to take care of in life. How can you maintain focus in such a way? How can you place your focus on achieving your goals with so many distractions? Well, you have to stop the distractions in your life so that you have the time to do more productive work instead. Nowadays, that most of us have access to what was previously only available to royalty. We spend our days either eating too much, drinking too much, shopping too much, socializing too much, and then at night or even during the day, we sleep too much. We try to multitask with many things, but we end up doing much less than an ideal job at anything. We can't be focused when we are doing more than one thing at a time. And when we multitask, we usually lose focus on one or both or all of the things that we were trying to do at the same time. You can't talk to everybody, accept all calls as they come in and always be available to everybody and still be productive. It doesn't go together. You must learn to say no, to be harder to reach and to stay focused on your goals. When we don't achieve our goals, we go and blame others or the government for our situation, but it is our own fault. We gave in to the distractions. But we not only allow distractions to enter our lives, we actually searched for them. We search for distractions as a desire to run away from our fears and our what-ifs. We are just as afraid to succeed as we are to fail. So whenever we truly have a good idea that we know that we can follow through with, and when we start to work on our idea, fear enters our mind. And then we seek some form of distraction so that we don't have to follow through with what we intended to do. And the result is failure and no or no improvement. We stay in a place that we were in and allow our, feels, our fears to rule over us. So then we become bored and boring. We lose our vitality, we lose our curiosity and our enthusiasm that we had for life. We just simply cannot be happy when we dim our light. We cannot be happy when we willingly choose distractions over productivity. And the smartphone is the biggest distractor of all. It robs your time. Without even noticing it, one hour has gone by and you did nothing for yourself. You wasted it on other people's agendas and not your own. We all need time for introspection in order to reach our greatness and to ensure that we are sticking to the right path for us and our purpose and our success. When we spend the few free hours a day that we have on distractions, we cannot fulfill our destiny, we cannot enjoy life, and we cannot progress. When I was addicted to food and suffered from bulimia, this took up all of my free time. It was my distraction. Before the smartphone era, I had my distraction was food. I wanted to distract myself so that I could not show my gifts to the world, so that I would continue not to be loved and not to be important. I did not believe I deserved to reach my full potential that deep within me I knew I had, as we all deep within us know we have within us. As Marianne Williamson said, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. And this is so perfectly true. When we start to achieve things and move forwards in the right direction for us, fear, fear then creeps in and then we search for distractions to halt our progress, progression. We must become bigger to allow bigger things to enter our lives 
And the way to become bigger is through solitude. Solitude time without distractions. One of the great inventions that came along with the iPhone, with, the, with the, any mobile smartphone, is the flight mode. We can use it to allow no distractions to enter our time when we need and we want to focus. Now that we are in lockdown again, I make food for my daughters and myself before I start my focus time. I enter my clinic, which is located right outside of my house, and there I have all of the quiet time I need. My daughters know only to disturb me when something is urgent during this time. If we don't do what is necessary to block out distractions, we will never reach anything great. We will become more and more unhappy with our lives and become more and more conformative, more like everyone else when we are not. We are all unique and have greatness within us in some form. But if we, as many others, choose not to follow the path of bringing our gifts to the world, then we, like all others, doing the same out of fear, will be left with unhappiness and frustration. As Chuck Palahniuk said, People don't want their lives fixed. Nobody wants their problems solved, their dramas, their distractions, their stories resolved, their messes cleaned up. Because what would they have left? Just a big, scary unknown. We are all afraid of the unknown. This is built into our nature as it helped us to survive the wild world we once lived in. But in our mostly tamed world today, Fear of the unknown is something that hinders our growth, hinders our talents and our abilities and our progress. We must actually fear the fear of the unknown rather than fear the unknown itself. There are also many emotional distractions as well as physical ones that I just mentioned. Anybody in a bad relationship can reveal how much of their time goes to negative thoughts on their situation. Any bad relationship is very much a distraction. Any bad and negative feelings towards another person are also a distraction. Think of how long feelings of anger linger on long after an annoying event is over. Victimhood also lingers. How much of your time is spent thinking of how you should have done things or could have done things differently? And gossiping is also a distraction. Focusing on another person's world instead of on your own world is a pure waste of time. It is not only a distraction, but it also affects your mood, and any negative emotions are surely distractions. When you become aware of all of these distractions that you confront throughout the day, every day, and you become aware that they are your time suckers and that your time is limited, you will learn to notice them when they appear and stop them in their tracks. All physical and emotional distractions can be stopped once they are noticed. The key is to notice them on time. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you wanna ask yourself so that this question and your answer to it will help move your life to a better place for you. So the question of the day is, what are currently your main distractions in life? Food, drink, your cell phone, television, games, people, social media, family, whatever. Once you find your biggest distractions, find creative ways to control them so that you too will have daily time for, for introspection, creativity, and focused work on your goals. As usual, I recommend writing down this question and your answer towards it in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see and ensure that you are moving and making progress in the right direction. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I give myself permission to turn off or move away from any distractions so that I can focus. I give myself permission to turn off or move away from any distractions so that I can focus. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel or at least my playlist of um, life coaching videos and please ring the notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you improve your health and wellness to a better level. Thank you very much for joining. Thank <laughs> you.